Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and this is Peter. Hey, guys. And uh, Peter has been a tremendous help in bringing the FT Shin into reality. And ideally, this was supposed to be releasing this month, wasn't it? Actually, yes. We had a lot of fun. We brought it to E Week. We learned a lot of great things. Got some people beta testing it, and we actually came back with all three Shindens. Surprisingly, yeah. yes. I thought you guys were totally gonna crash that because that thing really didn't feel all that finished to me when we yeah. did that. It's, but somehow they worked pretty good, didn't it's it? It's definitely a life lesson that uh, you know a Japanese World War II fighter that never made it in production probably wasn't going to be the easiest to iron out all the different characteristics. And this is coming a long way, and I'm confident it's going to be out soon. But we had some delays, and we're going to be pushing back just a little bit to make it as good as possible. Uh, but in the meantime, we had a lot of prototypes, didn't we? Yes. Well, and you, Peter had a fun idea because um, you know normally prototypes they just get destroyed. Uh, you had a different idea, didn't you? Yes, quite a bit. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> So we've been uh, working on the Shinden mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be coming out in the near future, and uh, that's been the, probably the most challenging design we've had. Uh, Peter, we're always chasing our tail with that thing. It's like one thing after another. We always change one little tweak, and somehow the plane just gets thrown all out of whack when it comes to flying. We, we bring it back, but it's well on its way to completion now. But we we ended up with a lot of prototypes, and uh, through this process, we were thinking back to a lot of our previous episodes where we had failures as well too. We thought back around the time when we actually had to uh, we took a Hobby King EPP FPV. Mm -hmm and we had the uh, the rocket plane that we were going to drop from it and then shoot it off and, and fly it uh, and, and we failed, we failed miserably. Uh, and we also thought about the time with uh, David where yep. he did the rocket plane from the ground. I love that episode. It was awesome. It's like one of the best ever. His, his laugh. I, I think <laughs> that's great. where the Swedes laugh got coined the most. <laughs> We wanted to repeat it, but we wanted to go back to the failure point. We obviously had success going from the ground, yep. and we had all these Shindens laying around. So we thought, let's go ahead and take the Shinden, uh, one of our prototypes that we're not going to use again. And uh, Peter, actually, it's right here. Yep. Keith Brown is actually out with us today. Keith, what have you been doing? I've been working with uh, Chad on the uh, Rotor DR1 project. How's that going, man? That's going great. It's yeah. going great. What it is, is it's a um, community-inspired uh, film project. It uses multi-rotors, and uh, it has a really extensive plot that the community uh, based on their comments and everything can change plot points and uh, various aspects yeah. of the film so it's like a real-time feature yeah. film yeah what, what basically we do where you guys suggest content saying hey review this or I challenge you to do this uh, it's the same kind of format but you guys are actually help write a story if you're interested in storytelling go over to uh, what is their website yeah there's a rotordr1.com or you can find us on YouTube uh, forward slash rotor dr1 and if you like what you see episode one is out right now yeah. <laughs> so if you want like what you see please share it um, that's how we get um, our likes and, and our comments and uh, that's what drives the plot so thanks again and uh, visit rotordr1.com check it out cool. yeah now, this is the shinden yeah. and this is actually uh, one of the I don't know, i've lost count i don't know it's probably like the 10th one you what would you say i think we've honestly built about 18 and peter's been a huge help with uh with uh, making the shinden a reality mm -hmm. and uh thank you for that peter mm -hmm. but we also have something on the top because yeah. speed is obviously going to be a key factor in this uh what size rocket motor do you have on it uh this is the e motor like what david had on the first one where it worked okay so i think we're gonna try that again we're gonna try to get this one see how fast we can get this one to go and if there's anything left Maybe we try the F again. Maybe we go with the F. Mm -hmm. And this Voltron here is going to be a GPS logger that's going to tell us our speed. And we're really hoping that we get the Mobius tied to this thing and the Voltron back in one piece. And we had a, a few successful drops, so we know this can release. It's gliding. The only thing we don't know is what in the world's going to happen when we yeah, let we that rocket. Yeah, we keep that rocket motor on. All right, let's do it. All right, ready to go hot? Yeah. Do you want to get out of the way so when you plug this in, you don't? Uh, it's 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 not plugged in. I tested the igniter. Okay. So yeah, we're going in now. Hey, look at that. Cool, I didn't die. It's always good when someone doesn't die. You ready? Ready. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I have an work. <laughs> you know what? It's more of a question what will mm -hmm. the Kraken not carry <laughs> nowadays? This thing is amazing. Oh, it's so it's versatile. Cool. What do you say we, we take it nice and high, I can drop you, and yep. then you can get stabilized? Yeah, I'll come right to the left. We'll go that way. Because that's, that's the way the wind's coming out of. I'm going to just do one more turn here. Yep. It's flying fine. This would make a pretty good uh, glider piggyback. Yeah, it's really stable. Looking good. One more turn. One more turn. I'm actually just flying mm -hmm. about... Two thirds throttle. Nice. <laughs> I guess I'm just putting the dive again. I'll just kind of pull off a little bit and see how stable it is. Oh, okay. Once plane's nice and stable, we'll kick on the booster and see what Go happens. For it. All right. So I want to fly down this way a little bit, right? Yep. All right. Gonna dive, throttle them back, diving, releasing. All right. Cool. We're stable. All right. Kicking on the booster in three, two, one. 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> That was not very spectacular. <laughs> Why, because it worked? I wanted to go faster. Well, <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> what happened? It's oh, you had slow, the yeah. Here, I'll chase the end. All right, cool. I can't turn very sharp with this, though. All right, cool. I was well, watching you, I almost just flew in that tree. F motor? F motor? F motor. F motor, let's go to the F motor. <laughs> that was awesome, good that job, cool. man. It worked. Oh, that was great. So Peter, yep. um, that went really smoothly and we were going with a bigger motor, but you did something here and I want to make sure people know not to do it. Actually, they should do some just general, just don't. Yeah, yeah take take, uh, take Dave, David's advice. Yeah, this don't is one of the things you just don't want to do. Yeah. I don't have the proper igniter for this because the proper igniter goes down to the neck of the engine. So okay. we took one of the crappy SS model rocket igniters in there and put black powder in there for, to get a full burn. Okay. Cause, uh, so you poured black powder, but then you were cutting fuses off of yeah. uh, fireworks mortars. <laughs> and that's where he got the uh, fuse material and the black powder too. So don't do that as well. Yeah, the whole thing is just um, a big don't do. Yeah. So we got uh, we used the speed monitor. And the reason I want to talk about it now is because it probably won't exist later. Uh, and we got 56 miles an hour. Yeah, 56. Pretty, no, 54.7, I think. You, you can log on your computer. It's pretty mm -hmm. easy to use. So use it in something that's not going to blow up. But it was very useful for us. If we if we get this back in one piece, we'll be able to see how fast we went. Yep, hopefully it goes faster, because that was disappointing. So you're just hot gluing this on now. Luckily, hot glue does not get the ignition point of the stuff in the engine. <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Round two. Bye-bye, Shinjin. Honestly, I think you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> doing what? I think you want this to die. Kind of do. You got a lot more potential life than I do. You want me to plug it in for you? Nah, yeah, I'll be cool. Hey, get your face really close there. This is where uh, health insurance premiums get always get higher. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Round two. Did you see? Yeah, I, I'm doing that. Did you do that? Stop doing that. I can walk go around the wing. Yeah. <laughs> All the failures we had the other day, it was pretty funny with that. Oh, uh, with the the plane? The yeah, yeah. Shinden, we had it smacking into the uh, plane. Yeah, that was my fault. That's okay. <laughs> One more turn around, or? I actually think this is good. This is good altitude. All right. All right, we're going, Alex. All right, go ahead. Okay, right, release you. Yep. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> All right, the motor exploded. <laughs> How'd that happen? Uh, maybe too much hot glue in the plug. You know, we're gonna find a way to get enough motor to work on this thing. This piece is raining down, man. That's awesome. All right. That was more fun than the first one, though. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go see the maximum right, speed? Let's go see the maximum speed before we got obliterated. There's some remnants of the motor in there still. Yeah. Oh, hey, cool, looks shrapnel. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> All right, so Peter, looking back on things, do you think it was wise to fill it up with black powder from a mortar around? Oh, probably not. We had the wrong igniter, so I kind of made an executive decision on that. Yeah. It didn't work well, and luckily we weren't staying next, next to Next time it. I'm gonna make an executive decision to override his executive decision and nope. get the right igniter. <laughs> <laughs> so sadly, the first flight we captured with the Mobius on board. Yeah, that was really cool. But the, the second flight didn't go so well. What do you think, the concussion kind of Yeah, it, off, you huh? see those things have like a, like GoPro stuff, like a 10 second record feature within that 30 seconds of the Mobius or whatever it is. When the explosion did, it completely shut down the camera and shut everything off. And that was the end of that. So uh, we still have our Mobius, but we don't have any footage. The Voltron didn't record any speeds either because it wasn't going very fast. When so, it blew uh, up. When it blew up. But we got both pieces and we'll put them in something in the future. Yep. So just because we're not releasing the FT Shinden uh, this month does not mean we're not going to be releasing product here. We have the minis coming up follow and those have actually we've been sitting on a lot of designs since like early March. And it's now prime indoor flying season. We want to get those out. So look for some really exciting minis to come out. We're going to be 
reproducing a lot of our big size models down to a smaller size, and there's also some new ones to come in mini form. So keep a keep an eye open for that. Yeah, I'm definitely more excited for those than the bigger planes. I love I love minis, especially yeah. with some of the new FPV gear coming out. Yeah, yeah, the new FPV gear, and also the fact not everyone has a big backyard. This is going to be a great mm -hmm. solution for schools, for churches, and for people that have backyards they want to fly in. Friends, we want to thank you for watching. We want to thank you for subscribing and sharing with this friend. You guys have brought us tremendous growth, but also want to thank you for your input too. This actual rocket episode, mm -hmm. someone said they want to see more rockets. We heard their voice yep. and we and put rockets on things. So uh, keep those suggestions coming. We love getting them. Speaking of rockets, you have one. You want to put it in something? Well, let's go strap it to something. Maybe All a right. quad this time. Maybe. See you next time.